A very close call in Cass County Monday night. A man fell into a full grain bin and had to be rescued. It can be a very deadly scenario, but as Aaron Murray explains, a new rescue device allowed crews to pull the man to safety. It's been 24 hours since Monday evening's grain bin rescue. We need more training. That's because we were in there way too long, yeah. but that's all various Cass County emergency responders can talk about. This is the first save I've had in a green bin in 22 years. Captain Leroy Lewis says it all came down to a brand new device. It's called a coffer dam. The yellow planks form a barrier around the victim stuck in the grain. Because once they got these things around you, like a 50 gallon barrel, and then they got cups about this big, and about this deep. And they dip, you dip them full for them. You got to do the dipping because you're on the inside of that barrel. And then they stand up above you and they take them cups out and dump the corn out. 76 year old Marvin Mansky had to work himself free. After an hour of being stuck, the corn was already up to his chest. Even with the training, using the new equipment made everyone here a little nervous. How did everything go last night? Actually, it went very smoothly. Um, we as the four individuals that were actually in the grain band had no idea we were in there for three hours. Um, time went very quickly. Uh, it wasn't until it started getting dark that we realized we've been here a long time. Four hours in total, but Mansky will make a full recovery and return to farming in no time. With photographer Wayne Martino, Aaron Murray, WOWT 6 News. John Mallory and first responders will tell you any amount of time in a grain bin can be deadly and the reason why is quite simple. I can explain it right here, the physics behind it. Pretty much any grain is lighter than a human body so we'll take this rock and put it in which is heavier than grain and you can see just any amount of slight pressure it kind of goes down into the grain and if you can imagine a human struggling it wouldn't take very long to kind of sink down in it and first responders tell me even just above your knee can be enough to get stuck and Marvin Mansky, when they got to him, the grain was already up to his chest. Aaron, it's so good to see that he's going to be okay How's tonight. It? Of course, wants to get right back to farming. Very close call. It was. Well, the coffer dam is not a cheap piece of equipment. It was not purchased by any city or county government. It was purchased by the Manley Co-op with the full understanding that any emergency department in Cass County would have access to use it.